Hey, everybody. Stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing well. Oops. Well, I ran over two zombies. I'm doing quite well, thank you. We are heading over to the trader right now. So, I've done a bit of mining and stuff, and I've reached the conclusion that we are very low in bullets. <laughs> Been trying to work on that, but uh, it's pretty hard to keep up with all the time. And I kind of got behind on it, so... Yeah. Oh! Well, there's a treasure chest here as well, so that's a thing. Don't tell me it's in the middle of the road, please. Oh, dear God. Too late to go back for dynamite. <laughs> No, actually, it's not. Pretty sure we have some dynamite at home. Do I want to blow up the whole road? No, I don't actually want to. You know what? I'm going to try to avoid that. <laughs> I'm as decisive as always, as you can see. So... Being that we're a bit low on uh, on bullets right now, I am heading to the trader and also, yeah, I'm going to have to dig a tunnel. And also doing this because, well, you can get money in treasure chests and money is good. Oh, it's very far underneath. I need... need a shovel pretty badly. You don't need an axe right now. I love the Desert Vulture, it's so good. Very strong. Also, high Pyro. You hope this isn't too far. But it's kind of our goal today to do a little bit of questing if we can. Go to the trader, try to get some bullets, and then head back home. Because uh, the horde is tomorrow in game. Hi, Joe. Hi, on. Sorry, I didn't notice you. If you talk in chat, I will try to say hi to you. Yeah, round four... Oops. Round four tiles below the surface is accurate. Hope I can get to this in time and get to the trader. There we are. Do I have... I don't have lockpicks on me. I have lockpicks in here. I see a wandering horde. I'm not going to deal with that, though, because I'm on a schedule. On the clock. I hear a landmine going off. One of them must have walked into one. 10,000! Oh, and lots of bullets. Good, we need 9mm.
Okay. Wait. Oh! I was wondering where that was... where that airdrop was. Do I have enough time? Get this. And get to the trader. <laughs> Not sure. Off we go. Quickly, quickly. Okay, so we got a book. Or we got a uh, book crate, an armor crate, and some antibiotics. Make sure I don't run into anything. I'm on the wrong road. I need to at least make sure the things I'm running into are stuff that my bike can break. That was a pretty cool jump, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it on time. <laughs> we might have to hang out in the Wasteland City overnight. Dangerous. Very dangerous. But... Yeah, we definitely have to hang out in the Wasteland City overnight. Darn it. Because he should be teleporting me out any second. Well, I saw most of it. No, actually, my middle name is Edwards. That's a joke. But yeah, I do enjoy... Bit of danger. Okay, you know what? I have the desert vulture for a reason. Okay. Firing fists and shotgun. So, I guess in this case, my money in this case, I guess I'm going to head over to the tier two infestation because I'm, I assume that's the quest for this person, and I want to get some money. Eh. So many sharp sharpening cards. There's, there's so many sharpening cards everywhere. And why are there so many shopping cards? Mailbox. Why do so many people mail books? I don't understand that. Schematics. 
Something about that just doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Savage Country. My med group. Fire station. I think I've been into like this dish before. Oh, it's funeral home. Maybe I should have been using a different weapon for this. I feel like I'm drawing a bit too much attention. Else? Okay. Let's make use of some of these stealth bonuses. Oh. oh, this is a tier one. This is tier two infestation up, but this is a tier one quest. Oh, go away. Okay, so what I'm thinking... Oh, I don't have any wood on me. I have some wood really quickly. Yeah. I always thought it was kind of weird checking mailbox finding a pipe bomb schematic in game. Yeah, it's like, what are they? Wh where are they getting this stuff from? Just like anarchist R S. Nope. Stay. Stay sneaking. Stay sneaky. Yeah. I'm gonna get a tree so I can make frames. So they could hear my silence pistol, but they can't hear the tree falling. What's up with that? It was so loud. Man, there's so much stuff here at, at night. Know the difference between nature and nurture. I mean, that's why there's so many of them? Used. Okay, building blocks. Oh, okay, I don't need that many, but whatever. Little trick with this place in particular is the loot room's right there. Yeah.
Let's just look at this backwards. No reason not to. That took an awful lot of shots. Well, we'll things up downstairs, but there's nothing up here. Oh. <laughs> well, here's the satchel. What? What? I heard something break something, but I don't know where it was. Well, I'm done here. <laughs> oh, wasteland treasures. Chance to at harvest acid from cars, metal equipment, and acid barrels. That's really good because we actually need acid so we can make another chem station. And apparently that was the last of the wasteland treasures. Dark books. Gives us. We can now harvest military fibers from camping chairs and military trucks. Oh, cool. How many zombies there are out there? Well, I guess it's XP time. Yeah, sure, if you want to hang out downstairs, that's fine. It's not like you can get up here. Darn. Play. <laughs> ah, he killed a crawler. Darn it. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm what? I activated the quest though. I finished it. <gasps> oh. Okay. Hold on a second. So there is a tier one fetch on top of the tier two infestation. Like, they were layered on top of each other, so I couldn't see the second one. Like, the quest that I was actually heading towards. Okay, well, I can just activate that now. So much shit around here right now. I think I have, like, really... What? That's not available until 3 5? No. Oh. I didn't realize that they had to be done during the day. Oh, it's very hard to kill those before they go up. Oh, that's a white. An explodey guy. Testicle monsters. Also a white. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed. That's not good. But it turned out okay. Almost time. I'm just going to put some stuff in. 
Ow. Whoa. Okay. I don't know if that's showing on stream, but suddenly my screen started flashing. Hope that didn't show on the stream. Fuck was that? I've never seen Seven Days do that before. Okay. Weird. Back those. Aid bandage. The first aid bandage. Vitamins so I don't get infected. And now I can here to infestation. And I can do it from the top down. Oh. The letters are in the way. Uh, what? Oh. Hello. Okay, no one heard that. That's good. Thankfully, they can't hear things like doors exploding or trees falling. Okay, you better not explode. That would be really bad. You know what? This is bad. Okay, well, that's a way to do an infestation. Stand outside and shoot everything as everything flows out for you. Right, well, let's see. Else is around here. Okay. Okay. And of sham. Hold on, I'm eating sham. And this is a sham. Just like my marriage. Aw. Oh. I'm not married. For people who don't know me, I'm not married. <laughs> okay, let's not do whatever that was. What is going on up there? Oh, there's a lot of running around for... Yeah. I think things are just trying to beat their way in is all. Petitions drawer. I don't know what I expected to find there. Besides dead bodies. I see a testicle monster. Okay, is there anything else to harm me? Well, I'm going to let you walk over here on fire. Then I'll turn off the fire. Eat 
Oh. Oh, invest. Oh my god, so many bullets. We need 9mm so badly. Oh, this is so good. Wow. I can't believe the crate survived. Largely unharmed. That's cool. Let's harvest some of these cars. I honestly don't know if I'm going to get the chance to get the uh, four-wheel drive by the time we're done this series, unfortunately, but keep trying. I kind of feel like there's no point in having a spear. It just seems to be like the worst weapon in every case now that I'm dealing with things as powerful as Loaded on things? Yeah. Okay, let's... Now that I've completed a bunch of shit, I'm going to go back to the trader. Actually, wait. I can go to Trader Gen first. Since she has the Tier 1 quest, apparently. But well, there's a police car here, too. Ugh. So many things to get. All of it. <laughs> I'm glad you liked my joke. If your marriage is a sham, follow the channel. Uh-oh. Well... Okay. God. Staying in any place for any amount of time is bad. Please, I just want to grab this stuff and leave. Yeah, if you're in a shitty marriage, get out of it. Yes, there are droves of testicles right now. Just have so many testicles to shoot. Oh, a cathedral. Fuck off. Fuck off. Still here. Oh, I should take y'all around the cathedral. It's a really fun point of interest. My god! You know what? No, I don't like this. I don't like any of this. I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck that. Stuff everywhere. It all hates me. Okay. Here. Ah, fucking. What? Ah, fuck. Buzzard. Wondering what was hitting me. Anyone else? Okay. Let me just... Please let me buy things. God, I hear you. Okay, can I snipe some of these so I can stop drawing attention? Is 
I would really like to stop drawing zombies in. So I can look at my inventory for like one fucking second. Okay, this... Not that. This, 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 this. Uh... Got all in there for now. Yes, I just, I just want to, I just want to buy things. Whoa! That ambulance flashed in and out of existence. I have those painkillers on the way back. Uh, okay, let's sell let's sell shit first. Okay. Why? Oh, I can't can't put that on the sun, but Maybe I should keep the level six sun baton. That is kind of cool. Like ten cup Molotovs, that sounds fun. Okay. Vehicle! Two vehicle books. Great. It's for Gun oh, bullet tips. I need you. Gunpowder, very badly. Like the casings as well. The high powered seven six. High powered nine millimeter isn't that's that. Right. Dang. I think that's Basically, all I can really. Really, a point. Actually, no, I do use an SMG. I can do that. Unfortunately, you can't put, like, the high powered. You can't put, like, the high powered armor piercing rounds in the turrets, so I wasn't really going to buy any, but. Eh, I'll do it. Jobs. I'll suck. Passing gas. Sorry, Jen, but I'm probably not getting this quest done sooner otherwise. <laughs> and bye. A bit low on. Food. Back up. Hopefully also heal me up. Main concern now. And we do actually have to get back very soon. Because it's day 91. Means that it is horde day today. Nope. Oh, this is a tier 7 as well. Okay, the screen just flashed again. Can I get a confirmation from someone that that you're not seeing like the stream f like the the video flickering? If that's on the stream end, I will restart. Oops. I've never done that before. Uh 
pawn shop. Ass and ATM. Grab the ATM really quickly because I I have lock picks, I might as well. That's fair. I appreciate the feedback. It's happened a couple times now. One time was really bad. So I'm just hoping that someone, if if it happened on stream, w would have said something. Actually, let me just put a note out here. This is this is for my viewers who like my repeat viewers who come back. I really and I would really appreciate this is if you ever if you ever don't hear music on the stream. Or you ever see like weird flashing or something like that? Please definitely say something in chat because there's a good chance I don't know about it. And even if it's just like you're not sure if it's you or not, just say something anyways, and I will keep an eye out for it. If you can do that, really appreciate it. If you can't, that's totally okay. Okay, so we're going over to Trader Bob now. A bit of trading. Hopefully buy a little bit more ammunition. Trade it, turn the quest, get a new quest, and then we're going to head back to the house. Because we need to make sure the free house is set up for the bait for the That needs to sell. Okay. Oh, an untouched ATM. Wow, Ford Steel, that would definitely have been my pick a while ago. I think I might take the shells, though. Then I'll just grab another job quickly. Put in Rose Market. Take the infested one, and Bose Market's not a bad... Not a bad point of interest. Ma'am? Actually, is my character male or female? Those are the only options. Oh yes, I am bandana sexual, apparently. Four by four accessories. That is half of what you need to make the four by four. That he resets in three days. I might come back for that, because that's really, really good. <laughs> okay. Oh, another vehicle book. Nice. Okay. Let's get some fucking ammunition. I don't really have the luxury of saving money right now. I need to buy whatever ammunition I can get. Oh, dynamite. Tips. Casings. Rad remover. I will check in one second. Are. Okay, I'm going to say that's probably everything I get. 59. Okay, we need 70. So we need 11 more books. That will probably take a moment. 
buy a health bar. Those are really good. All of that's over there, so I'm going to go out this door. Yeah, keep punching that car. But yeah, 11 more books, and then we'll have it. I don't know how feasible that will be, because... So, I, like, the, the series is Road to Day 100. Uh, I probably will go to Day 105, just because 105 is the Horde. Like, 98 and then 105 are the Horde. Um, so I want to, I do want to keep going on there. Uh, I do really like this series. I will, I will say that for the people who really, who really like the seven day series, I love this series and I love this game so much. Um, I can't for fiscal reasons, continue to play it. Unfortunately, I need to swap to games that have a better viewer turnout. Just because if I want my channel to ever grow into anything, if I want to, like, ever be able to do this as a job and, like, be able to focus on the channel, I have to swap over to Path of Exile content, the other content. I wish that wasn't true. I wish lots of people wanted to watch Seven Days, but they don't. Not to say that I'll be done with it forever. I probably will still come back and do something. And I probably will do something for the finale of the world. I'm kind of tempted to uh, swap the game to Perma Knight uh, on the last horde. So that, like, we basically, we just see how long we can last with, with just permanent knight. Just Toby run out of bullets and run out of... And like till the treehouse falls, basically. I think that'd be like a pretty good send off for the world. Wow! <laughs> I didn't see that. But as for, like, remaining goals for this world, I do want to... I do still want to build a chemistry tower where we can put all of our chem stuff, and I want to build some walls around the house so that we can keep safe. Uh, I'm going to table that just so that we can work, we can do the horde, and then we can come back to it. Good. I have some lots of bullets been made. There. Yeah, I need more nine millimeter. Lots of nine millimeter. Do we have any Oh, that's lots of bullet tips. I have some being made. Also, I placed this last workbench off off camera. I forgot to mention that. And what I'll get to finish off the last few bullets here. Okay, what can I put Rad Remover on? Because Rad Remover is really good. How about this? What about the SM? That's not my SMG. My SMG. Here it is. Okay. 
I don't need accuracy for flying from the hip. But mostly aim down sights. Bunch of shit just in. I do actually want some port steel though. No, actually the the stuff is upgraded, or all the uh, blade traps are fixed, so I don't need that. Okay, so need uh. Lots of nine millimeter. I don't want to bring the Magnum bullets. The Magnum's really not suited to this at all. No. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. A bit worried for a second. <laughs> Ammunition. Thought I had some armor piercing done millimeter. I guess maybe I shouldn't have the SMG with me because I'm going to need all this done millimeter for other things, for the turrets and stuff. Whatever, I'll just bring it with me anyways. I'll bring some shotgun shells too because shotgun will be. Gonna... This is I can manage. No, I'll bring that too. I'll just... Okay, anything else I need? Bring the health bar with me. Use that. Vitamins. I should eat while I'm at home, actually. That's a thing to do. Pumpkin bread. Lots of pumpkin bread. And... E... Buff items I need. Learning elixir, definitely. I have enough rate. I'll go over there. Warp bites. Okay. Well, this should be more than enough to. Oh, wait. Wait. Before I forget, I need the spikes. Spikes with me this time. Uh. I guess I'm just going to bring all this shit with me. I don't really have time to sort my inventory out, fortunately. But I'll take those bullets with me. I'll leave the bag here, because the bags now stay forever. To the Horde base! Whee! So, for building, I want to build the chemistry tower right beside this, the floating house. It'll also be floating, because why not? And then I want to make a perimeter wall around the house, so that we can put spikes around the perimeter wall, and they can catch the screamers. Because screamers are really dangerous. Actually, I nearly lost my storage room 
to some screamers while I was working uh, a couple days ago. Because I had my headphones off while I was doing something. And I was still kind of playing and, like, interacting with my inventory. And suddenly the floor was covered in acid from a cop. And I put my headphones on. And as soon as that happened, I just heard the worst cacophony of noise from just more zombies than I've ever seen in one place. Apparently, screamers had been screaming and piling up underneath the base, and I couldn't hear them. Uh, so that video of that is currently is up on the Patreon now. I'll link in the description of the Twitch channel. If you want to come join, you can see behind-the-scenes content like that, and, and see all the other terrible things that I do. I have a big project, like, exclusive series that I've been working on, actually, that's going to be going out on the channel soon. Or go going to be going out on the Patreon soon. I'd love for you all to see that. Oh, fuck, I forgot to bring... It. Iron. Get something. Oh, it's okay. I'll just put down spikes. Might have some upstairs, too. Put some extra spikes around here, because why not? I have extra spikes, might as well. If our spikes are damaged anyways, then we'll add another row to extra safe. Eh. Ah. Eh. Ah. Why does it really just freaks out where it wants to put things? Like you want to wait? You want to put something there? Oh my god! And then suddenly, just go there. I'm gonna use my body to block it from placing here. It used to be you could place things inside your body, which was the absolute worst when you're placing spikes, and just suddenly, like you like skewered yourself accidentally. Yeah, that'll be enough. That'll be way more than enough. Go upstairs and see if we actually have any forged iron up there. I could really use some. And I don't have any here. Okay. Note to self. Bring forged iron with me next time. I have everything fixed that I can fix. Damaged. Oh, okay. I need weird shit to fix that, unfortunately. Oh, I need to fix the SMG too. Let's load these up for me. See if I have enough to load up the SMG turrets this time. Don't I doubt it. I don't even have enough to load up three of them. Oh. 
I'll leave 600 in each. Ish. Locked. 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 Okay. You know what? Let's strengthen this stuff. I can afford the concrete now. Oh, that's already concrete. But this is good XP for me. I'll just have to redo all the all the paint. Yeah, but whatever. What is this that I'm actually? What am I upgrading? I want to see the bars. I have a second to paint them, actually. Quick, must paint for the horde. Oh, wait, not inside. We must be stylish for the zombie invasion. Some might say that my priorities aren't really in order. There's nothing else, that's just what some would say. I'm glad that these are at least fixed now, because they've been kind of damaged for the last few hordes, and I don't want something to dam I don't want something to destroy my house. Well, my horde base, I guess I should say. Almost done. It's almost done. Hope you all can't hear my pupper in the background. Very excited about something. I don't didn't really mean to bring the lock picks up here, I guess, but <laughs> I'm not there. Turn on the generators. Take my fort bites. Take the health bar. Take the recog. Take the vitamins. Okay. Hold on. Before we continue. First, I'm going to turn down seven days a bit because of the horde. It always gets super loud. Second, we need some good music for this. There we go.
Oh, one of the turrets just got a buzzard. That makes me happy. Well, that's out already. Fuck you, buzzard. Oh, hello, Kobe. That it is definitely not uncreative. I w <laughs> if I was in creative, I wouldn't have only a level 3 gun. <laughs> also, welcome to the stream. Also, what would be the point playing 7 days in creative? That seems boring. <laughs> At least it would be for me. Oh, wow, you can even see them spawning in. That's weird. I could really use some liquid. I'm getting pretty low. Oh, thanks for the follow, Kobe. Appreciate it. Welcome to the community. Always good to have you. Oh, and that's our 20 follower goal. Yay. 20% of the way to partner, or partner? No, to associate. Affiliate? What's the word? I think it's affiliate. That's awesome. Thank you for helping us get that. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Ron. Oh my gosh! We're getting irradiated specials now! That's an irradiated spider! That's awesome! Demolisher! 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 I'm not shooting him because I wanted to show him off. He dropped a red bag. I wonder if that's special. 
That's so cool to see a Demolisher, finally. Our very first Demolisher of the series. Oh, fuck, I'm out of bullets. Upping. High power. Those armor-piercing rounds were really nice. I need to make more armor piercing rounds for the next one. There's a trick to preventing the demolishers from exploding. If anyone knows what it is, please tell me. <laughs> I forget it. Whoa. That was a weird bug. The fuck was that? No reference exception. That's not good. Ow! Shit. Oh, I'm very low. Durability. Another demolisher. Oh, I accidentally headshotted him. That's good. Oh boy. Too many cops. Ow! Cops bring the artillery. Okay, where are they now? Oh, they moved. That's what's going on. No, the bags don't respawn, or don't despawn anymore at all. That stuff used to go away very quickly, but they fixed that. Thankfully. Because you used to lose a bunch of them, but no, we'll be fine. Yeah, very welcome change. Double Demolisher, that's not good. I think I, you need to make sure not to hit their, their explosives on their chest. I think that's the biggest danger. They have a green light on their chest. If that light goes red, you're in trouble. Or I could just do it out there. Holy shit. Okay, yep. Can't have that explode near, near the thing or we're in trouble. I did not expect it to do that much damage. I was like, yeah, we, if we detonated away from it, we're fine. No, apparently we're not.
If I were to make this bit this base again, I think I'd make it bigger. Because it feels pretty small. Which means less things to repair, but also less things for them to go through before they knock the base down. Ah, shit. Okay. Shotgun it is. Shotgun's not really meant for this, but... I have a lot of shotgun shells, so I might as well use them. I'm out of 9mm, and I'm out of 7.62, of all the types. I need to make sure not to shoot down and hit my light. <laughs> That'd be a really dumb way to lose the light. Oh, one last demolisher. Uh, I think I'd, I'm not going to attack him. I don't think I can shoot him without hitting his his thing. Oh, shit. The blade trap's down. I have to attack him. Can you, like, walk over here? That'd be nice. Oh, that blade trap's down, too. Uh... Uh... Just something that doesn't trigger his explosives. I just don't want him to explode. He would do so much damage to us. The base. Okay, he's dead. Okay, I think that actually is a special bag or something, because, like, sometimes the bags are different colors, but that's two red bags in a row from Demolishers. Oh my gosh. Whew. We can go back to calm music again. Man, that was some horde. <laughs> we finally got special, like, Iridian specials, and we finally got demolishers. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's. Oh god, these are. Badly damaged. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's in the blue, the red loot bags. Okay, that's pretty good. I think it's that might be better than usual. I'm not able to tell. Yeah, that's a fair bit of ammo. I think these are slightly better. Hey, I ran of 7.62 and 9mm. <laughs> Those are like the important ones for my good guns. So, <laughs> we got it pretty close. Maybe the different bag colors do denote rarity. That'd be kind of cool. Then I can get ex then I get excited every time I see a, a red or a blue loot bag. Because like we don't see red and blue very often. Usually they're yellows. Just the cops dropping the blue ones too. Yeah, I still have arrows and bolts, but that's not going to do much against the uh, irradiateds. Ow. The irradiateds who are constantly regenerating as long as you're not using a gun that... Uh, um, as long as you're not using a gun that has rad remover on it. 
Oh, did so much damage. Okay, we need to expand the platform here pretty badly. Just, like, add another <laughs> few rings going out, maybe. Maybe add another entire row of blade traps. Oh. Yeah, I agree. It, it definitely did look like it had more ammo. Because usually there's only one ammo type. Hi, Punchy. I'm gonna pick you up. You're not Punchy. Foster! And then Puncher! It's Punchy. I think this one's Punchy. Yes, this is Punchy. Punchy burns thing. That's how I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> we have this one. Oh, this one's out of... Oh, they lose durability over time while placed! Oh, that's cool! It also explains a lot of things. Let me see if I can get a thing to repair. I might have something up in the house. Let's see if I have any steel here to repair the blade. I want to at least do that before we. Leave. Then we can start working on the uh, on planning out the uh, the uh, chem laboratory. Get a concrete next. Not seeing steel in here. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll leave some stuff here. Okay, that should be more five me. I'll leave this here for now. We'll have to come back and repair stuff anyways, so that's off. Okay. You know what? This is a great time for us to go on a very quick break. Five minute intermission, everyone. Washroom, get water, stretch. You know the drill. Then we'll get back and we will start designing.
Hey everyone. And we're back. Is that a wandering horde? I just noticed your message, Han. And I'll admit, when you said, oh my god, my favorite, I thought you meant the intermission, as in your favorite was when I wasn't here. I was like, wow! <laughs> Rude. <laughs> no. <laughs> I assume you mean the design part. <laughs> Favorite part of the stream is when I don't have to listen to you anymore. <laughs> okay. Boom. Any airdrops around here? Some Twitch chats do go crazy for chair stream. Hell, the chair stream? You mean just like someone, someone's just empty chair? <laughs> okay, we've been driving past this POI. For so long. And I keep saying I want to go in it. You know what? I'm going to put stuff in the bike. And I'm going to go in here. Why the fuck not? We have time now. Maybe I shouldn't bring. A thousand shotgun shells with me. But. Actually, I might need that. Leave that here. Take the first aid. Uh... Actually, I should use the treasure map. Good to have a treasure. Oh, it's back there. Dreamer leaves the room, leaving the chair, leaving the chair to take over the street. People are weird. That is just, that's it. People are weird. Myself included, of course. I'm not throwing shade at anyone else. Like, I'm also weird. Like, you you just take some time to look at humanity and consider, like, even your own actions are just so strange in the grand scheme of things. Up the butt. Called shot. Hey, guess we're going this way. Oh. Oh, I, I can't not. Oh, I can't not. This is going to alert the entire camp if I do this, though. Whatever. That was fun. I, 
I see the point that you're trying to make, Ron. However, counterpoint. Counterpoint. If your job just became facilitating streaming, then that wouldn't be too bad either. Or at least to the point, like... Uh, well, I mean, no, I do want people to actually watch the content because it's... My content because it's fun. I don't know. I guess it would be kind of sad. I see you in there. Heard a... that was... Okay, that was really weird. I just heard a outhouse open. Okay. What? Not a pile of garbage, it's a person. That's a pile of garbage. <laughs> that makes more sense. A ladder up here. Oh. That was just for decoration. I was wondering why my stealth was so high, and then I realized, oh wait, I'm in broad daylight, that's why, like, I'm not stealthy. And I missed. Shot, and I missed. Another shot and I missed. I look up, reload my gun, but I missed. And then anyone knows what I'm referencing, I'll be very happy. Around the outside. Stealth feels generally kind of useless until it gets really high, and then it feels like a cheat code. Because <laughs> like you can stand, you can sit right beside a zombie, and they won't even see you sometimes. When like you get yourself really up there. Are you already, already in here? Yes, I was already in. Some more. Kind of hard to get them from this angle, though. I don't know if I can shoot through the picnic table anyway. Wait, how are you supposed to get in here? E. all of them that was weird that's a mess hall oh you're alive well okay alive is a strong word you're animate. 
Okay, that's good for a second. I I know his head is stuck in the fridge. Okay, this will be will be my thumbnail. Okay, there's definitely something up there. By something I mean probably its own. Oh. I think this area is cool. Funny that none of these zombies woke up when I blew up that area. Fair. I mean, this is probably going to be a chair stream, considering how many chairs I have. Chair. 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 Air, 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 air. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> All my chairs, mine. The actual reason I'm collecting them is because you can scrap them for stuff. But oh, you're supposed to jump over here. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, oh, I don't like the fact that you fall down into something. Never my favorite. <laughs> That's the, the dumbest possible way I've woken zombies up. Sure. I don't have to go down there. I just need to kill everything. Then I can go down there when everything's dead. Here, come over here. This is so stupid, I love it. Ah, I found another one. You're a very energetic one. <laughs> okay, there's no good reason for any zombie to be sleeping anymore after all of those explosions. There definitely are some sleeping, but there's no good reason for it. Shoes. Why there's dress shoes in a military camp, but whatever. Flag. Yeah, destroy generators right after the explosion. <laughs> I kind of wish you could take the destroyed stuff and rebuild it. Oh yeah, now you hear something. How did... Are you still alive? Yes, you were still alive. You missed the entire explosion here, and you were still alive. That is so dumb. Hi. What's up? Shot. 
first way to go. <laughs> Don't mind me just staying on the roof twitching. I like that. Ow. Fine. You didn't hear that. Okay, this is your own fault. I did not hold res take responsibility for that. You should have heard that. Is that a foot? I think that's a foot. Not a foot. It must be the command post. That was a foot! Jerk. Totally got you. Fine. Hey, look at it jiggle! That's a extremely... <laughs> that's extremely weird and... <laughs> fun to watch for some reason. Uh oh, crafting. E. Do I don't I need? <gasps> Car book. Ten more books, and then we have the the four by four. Oh, vehicle off road headlights mod. Cool. Put that on the motorcycle if it takes it. Okay, well, it, whatever is going on is definitely in there, so. No. Fuck you. No buzzards. How do you look through here? Okay. I guess what's in here is left. I don't know if this is supposed to work. I feel like this is supposed to work. Is there a button somewhere? Got this. Any other buttons? Any buttons on top? Around it? Up here? Nope. Okay, I think that button's just broken. What I'm guessing. Okay. Well. Oh, ten thousand. Thousand. Fifteen thousand. Okay, wall it is. Actually, no, because the door is two blocks. So I technically have to go through twenty thousand if I do a wall. I see a hardened chest. Good, I do have my lockpicks on me this time. Really quickly before I do that, I need to take some painkillers. Head is hurting. I've been working pretty hard lately, so it kind of makes sense. Probably we'll just chill after the stream tonight. What's been going on? Not even getting done everything I want to get done either. Which is the sad part. Like, 
If I had more time, this like there's so much more I would do for the channel too. Shells. Military chest. Compound crossbow five. Ooh, I should make one of those. Seeing as I use my crossbow constantly. Ooh. Lots and lots and lots of bullets. I don't actually want to scrap that. For level six. I'd rather keep it. Thing is, you can't make level six. Another treasure map. Wow. And a 4x scope. I like... Oh! Bottle of acid! Yes, we needed one more bottle of acid. For the ke a new temptation. Because, like, I want to... Like, I have one already, but I want to have a second one. Have a symmetrical... Not too, too important. It would make me happy. I will read the treasure map. Kind of need treasure pretty badly right now. Get bullets. Sell most of the stuff. Okay. Cool, that was fun. One hit? That's it? Yeah, I should have gone that way. <laughs> I realized that the gates were just vaporized if I touched them. Okay, back home. Oh, the treasure map's not too far away from our house. Nice. Oh, I think we can get good air on this this hill. Whee. Not really. There's like a perfect amount of slope that will help you get good air. Whee. Actually, for the longest time I was wondering if you could get air by uh, going off these jumps, or like going over this. Unfortunately you don't really, but it is still kind of fun. Uh, well, okay, I can spare some crossbow bolts. I want to clean these up anyways, just to make sure that I don't have any issues. Here. Things away from my base. Chris. Hidden stash. Nice. Ah. Oh, it was still a white. Oops. Well. Wow. Took a lot of shotgun blasts. The whites are no joke. I mean, I guess they are specials.
I wish I wish we could like have friendly snacks because I wouldn't kill them if they were friendly. I'll start most of this stuff out later. I'm gonna sell all that stuff, so I'm gonna put it in. That all away. Put that in. that here okay so the direction i want to go for the chemistry towers i want to have the tower out in this direction so like this will be a walkway right here actually no i'll empty the bike later so i made uh, some ah there's some cubes Now let's see placing stuff. Okay. This is the block here. One, two, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna go for a like I'm I'm gonna go for a, a fairly rounded aesthetic is what I'm thinking. I'm trying to think how far away I want it. That's nine, eight. So this becomes the wall here. Seven blocks. Yeah, okay. What I'm thinking, because chem stations are three blocks wide, is I do five. A five, three across, and then five again. Wait, two, three, five across. Five. Okay, I successfully fucked that up. <laughs> That's not right at all. Hmm. What happened here? Don't know, but I fucked something up. I, I don't want it very oblong. <laughs> It was wrong all oblong. I think that's right now. <laughs> yeah, I want this, I'm thinking. This should give me three separate sections for chemistry. So I can have one for that's going for gunpowder. I can have one that's going for gas, and then one for whatever the fuck else I want to do. Which is probably way more than I need, but... I mean, who gives a shit? It's fun. I kind of want to make it taller than this current base, seeing as the current base is not tall enough.
Okay, so this is where the floor would be. And these are obviously going to be floating as well, because why the hell not? Need a shovel. Shouldn't take too long to dig this out. Especially seeing as I can one-shot things. Shovel. I should go out and rather than just having a bag. Yeah, that I think that makes the most sense. Here. The rotation of these only only matters a little bit. Main reason why I'm like making sure the rotation is exact for them is just because some brick textures go funky if they aren't exact. And for anyone who's unsure why I'm building with wood. It's because I'm going to upgrade it, and, and that will give me more XP if I upgrade it rather than placing concrete blocks. No! Damn it. Okay, no, not doing that. Not happening. Go out one this way. A shovel, an axe. Yeah. Way. It's nighttime. Now, conventional logic would dictate that means I should go inside. However, I don't care. <laughs> I'm building. I don't care if they're zombies. They can they can make way for the design process. This is far more important. Design is everything in life. This is for me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go out one this way. There. I need to pick, remember to pick those up. <laughs> two, one, corner, one, two. Oh, there is a wandering horde over there. I need to deal with that. Because otherwise they will walk up to me. And that will be bad. Man, that is a long distance. Thankfully, I was still able to hit them all, so that's nice. Sorry, dear, but 
You're gonna freak me out every time I see you. I'll think you're a zombie. You are a zombie. Wow, I like one shot each of those, like one zombie, one shot, and then I missed five times when trying to kill it, that one single spider zombie. <laughs> I got cocky. My hubris. My downfall. Had to spend four bolts. Five bolts. Same again. One, two, then one, two for the turn. Turn. We're gonna lay the foundations here, and then I'm gonna finish the rest off uh, off stream. I think is the plan. Just because I don't want y'all to have to to watch me do this, like dig out the entire thing. But I've once again been reminded that building in this game takes time. Uh, I should take down this before it falls. Okay, now I need uh, my nail in here. There. Very clear. Okay. You can just watch my XP bar going up. One of the best things about upgrading things. I'm like level 70 something, so it takes a fair bit of XP for me to level too. For anyone who's not familiar, it's the little purple or magenta line uh, above my items is the XP bar. I need to clear the weeds. My flaming spear. Fortunately, this the spear was really good to me. It really was, and I appreciated it for a very long time. But it is now basically just a weed whacker. It's not really good for zombies anymore because they're so strong. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that clears a bunch of it. I love making the floating part of the chem of uh of the building. That always feels the coolest. Mostly because it this absolutely should not be possible in this game. The thing is like stability is so important and gravity is so important in this game. So to be able to do this is really stupid. So happy I discovered how to. I assume most people not most people. I assume a lot of people have discovered it before me, but it's pretty fucking awesome. Be pretty big. There'll be lots of room to do design stuff in here. Look forward to that. Okay. So just to recap, I'm going to dig out this area, concrete the walls here, and raise it up so that it's floating. Then I'm going to build the, the room as well as uh, put the walls up. I might put the ceiling up, but I'm going to leave a lot of the design stuff, like, as much as I can for the next stream. So I might just end up with a floating platform with a bridge. That might be the end solution. Because, like, I, I want to do as much, as much, like, grunt work as I can so that we can just focus only on design when I'm streaming. Because, unfortunately, there is some grunt work to be done now that the foundation's laid. I am going to place a few more blocks, though, just because in case anyone was not around when we were building the original house, I want to show off how to make a floating base again, because it's really fucking cool. And it can be done very easily, very legitimately, without any mods or anything. It's going to do this one corn, I think. That's all we really need. Show it off. Okay, so now that we have a corner, for anyone who does want to know how to make a floating base, I'll show it off right here. So the key to the floating base is the fact that this is actually solid, as far as the game is concerned. What the game sees as a block space, no matter how big or small the block is, this block is the exact same as... Let's pick something right. This block. These are both equally stable blocks as far as the game is concerned. So you can stack things on both of them as if it's just normal. Well, I'll move that in a second. So, first thing I'm going to do grab a plate. Because that's what these are. Thin plates. Okay. And I'll concrete. Th Actually, I don't need to concrete them. That'll be fine. 
Then I'm going to rotate it so that it's facing down. Yep. There we go. So this is very similar to the uh if if anyone here plays Minecraft, this is similar to the uh Minecraft like top uh uh top slab, like under slab and uh upper slab. So we have one plate that is facing upwards and one plate that is facing downwards. And as far as the game is consider considers it, this is two whole solid blocks. I'm out of concrete here. I'll have to grab more. But we'll now be able to grab normal blocks and just place these up here. As if everything's normal. Just a normal solid house, as far as the game is concerned. And just to show off and verify it, what I'm saying. Verify my claims. I'm going to use the debug yeah. I'm going to use the debug menu to show off stability. So stability is basically how likely is this thing to fall over? Things that are green are 100 percent perfectly stable. They have absolutely no structural flaws and it would take a lot to knock them down. So, for example, these two blocks are floating. So these are yellow. That is the uh, second highest tier of stability. Or this one is the second highest tier right here. You hit F3, you'll be able to also see this and hold Shift. So this is stability 14, the bright yellow. And this is stability 13. And then the green is stability 15, which is the highest. So as far as this is concerned... This floating built this this float whole entire floating building is more is more stable than these just two floating blocks because they don't have anything directly underneath them. It's a really weird system, but this is basically how it works for now. Debug menu because I don't need it. Oh. Uh oh, how do I turn off the? Wait, can I not? Oh, okay. You turn the debug menu back on, so I can turn that off. So I can turn that back off. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna get working on this, and on Thursday stream we will come back, and I will have this done, probably. A couple hours will probably pass, most likely. Uh, that is mostly... Oh, I have to fix that. That is mostly it, though. Then we'll start to prep, and we will do our second last horde, which will be the uh, 98th day. Uh, seeing as this is road to day 100, I will be stopping around 100. My idea is to go to uh, 105. Which is which would be the last horde because it'd be 98 and then 105. Um, with with 105, I'm thinking of just putting everything I can into making the horde base as strong as I can, and then just letting it start on horde night and making it eternal night, and then just seeing how long the base can last before I run out of bullets and run out of everything. At least that's the idea. I don't know if anything in here has changed since last together. 
I did add a couple more furnaces. Throw off anything that's different. I did add did add the extra workbench. I think I mentioned that. And then we have Pyro's Pizza Oven, which is honestly the perfect name for it. Yes, yeah, so I will. If I make this in future in future games, I will call this the Pyro Pizza Oven. It looks so so awesome still. Really happy that uh, for all of you helping me make this, like is this build as cool as it is? Because this is probably the coolest build I've ever made, by far. Lots of water. I can actually make a few more Duke collectors too. I should. Cool. Twenty-four water. Nice. Okay. Gonna call it for the stream now that it's about two and a half hours in. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Always nice to have people to play with and talk to while I play. So thank you. And also thank you for Kobe Plays for following today. Appreciate that. And I really appreciate getting to 20 followers finally. That is awesome. And I hope there's a nice long road for this channel ahead. So to everyone who is here and has been here, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, and have a great night. Bye.